Hello, Hello and welcome back to Let's, Let's Play Star Wars Knights of, of the Old Republic. Republic. The when we last left off, we, we have become the champion, champion. of the arena. arena. We, we have one task now to remain here. here. And the knight is convincing Bender, Bender Starkiller, to fight me. The deathmatch. Death I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? You're all better. 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 Finally, fresh and neat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. He says, he says that, that will take like a split second. second. Like a big time takes to walk over there. We're gonna, gonna fight. Now I'm going to, to save, save because death fight. fight. Well, well, that you fight. Death fight. fight. I can die in this one. I always say the same thing twice with me. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. 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 Such a toma toma. Cavalry Pamuji, Kumana, King Conchashi King, Nekin, Wana Kumbes, Chimbala Muri, Tonera Nano Prata Dunko. I don't know if it's going to be too much. It actually does take time. Gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> out of retirement for one last battle, Bandic Star Killer. Mm. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death really for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wandering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! Dark side, please, Ah. 
No, I didn't. didn't. Still. No. Mm. So, so because I didn't do it, say, I was wrong, wrong with killing, killing you for sport. sport. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I, so. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator is unstable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. 
you'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Well, you don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Yeah, you can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. See you later, What's we'll that to fight now? now. It's only me. It's only me. Well, I think we do. Just as well. 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 Just as well.
Conti Gianni, Mulirash, Kipuna, Puna de Cacho. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Chawana Bota Ayua Tahunga Chakanki Dora, Kachikuita Hodonga, Topa da Bungwalia Gando Dona no Tuchu, Musha Papampa, Pola Wana Chitne, Bamuli Slamo, Boda Wanga, Kumbes Mulira Rabes. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill, Kill them all! That's, That's what you call being a soul loser. Now that must have hurt. Those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yep. Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. 
Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkyrs would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. But luckily I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. Nope. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? Karth Massey is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. You're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We're trying to find you. I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I am sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Oh, you so around to see you. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Garth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry. I want that to happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. You say they could use force? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the yeah, Council. Nice. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is a However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. That's fine. Now that's... Well, we now have... Five companions. Four companions. I 
So, so one, one of the microbes, microbes we shall be well, well exploring, exploring and hopefully they're more famous. famous. I will go back to the other one. No, 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 I'm not too. Mm -hmm. More 2K. Not 2K, I need another one. I need a four. Or three of 3.6. We did pick up some cool stuff, and we have a new character. Astana. Ooh. Two little little notes. Which is the Jedi Sentinel. It is a difference. difference. Our she gets a lightsaber. With a 321 heat. heat. I'm not going to think that there's no reason. That's, That's right, thanks, folks. Until then, until then, I'll catch you later. See ya.